Hi, welcome to the numeracy 5 day answers for the 9th of May. So our first question. Our first question says work out 50% of 24. So to get 50% of a number you just divide it by 2. So 24 divided by 2 would be equal to 12. Our next question. Our next question says to show the time 7.25pm on the clock. So let's do the minutes first of all. That would be the 25. So that would be a big hand pointing directly at the 5. So that would be 25 minutes. And then that's 25 minutes past seven, so it's going to be past seven, so the little hand will be past seven, not quite halfway, but nearly halfway, and that's it. So seven, 25. Our next question. Our next question here, we've got a box of numbers, two, three, 11, 13, nine, and seven, and it says add all the prime numbers from the box. So the prime numbers, if we circle them, well, that's two, three, five, it's not there, seven, yep. Nine's not prime because you could divide it by three, 11, and 13 so we need to add up all those numbers so let's add them up so 13 plus 11 is equal to 24 the 24 add the 7 will be equal to 31 the 31 add the 3 will be equal to 34 and the 34 plus 2 will be equal to 36 so the answer would be 36 let's test it set 13 plus 7 is 20 plus 11 will be equal to 31 plus 3 is 34 plus 2 is 36 our next question. Okay, let's have a look at our next question. So this is a probability question. We've got to choose a word from the box which best describes the likelihood of each of these events. So we've got impossible, unlikely, even chance, likely, and certain. So a newborn baby being a girl, that's going to be even chance, even chance. The next question. A day chosen at random ending in the letter Y. Well, all of the days end in the letter Y, so that's certain. And the next question, rolling an ordinary dice and getting a four. Well, there's only one four in the dice and the six sides all together. So there's a chance of getting it, but it's unlikely of getting a four in just one roll. 